Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. To the Grecians. They sold us to the Grecians. Who was the Grecians? What nation of people the Grecians? Well, I had got one already. You want to shave your beard off, bro? Yeah, man. Yeah, I thought you were the children of Israel, bro. I know what I know. So he said we sold us to the Grecians. That's the white man. <laughs> so the Africans sold us to the Grecians. Hold on before you go nowhere. I got to show you this commandment you to keep your beard, bro. Oh, I know it. I know it. So you know it, but you're going to go cut it off anyway. Myself. I felt better. Oh, people, man. It's gonna be hard. How's it gonna be hard, bro? Give me um uh, John 14, 15. I don't know. We can't change. You know you know what the problem is? We just wanna, wanna be you don't supposed to shape your beard or nothing. So you can shape it. You can you don't supposed to cut it off. You don't supposed to cut your beard off like you did. Watch this. The book of John chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father. Hold on. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. You love God? Yeah. So what you supposed to do? Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. Give me a little bit of 21 and 5. Because the thing is, you know you Israelite, bro. You got to keep the commandments. I already gave them one, bro. I gave both one. Read this. Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. What you just did? What did you just say? So get what you just did. You committed a sin. Give me Romans 6 to 25. Bro, you want the kingdom? Bro, if you want the kingdom, Romans 6 to 23, that's what I want. It's going to come back, but watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 6, and verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. Read it again. For the wages of sin is death. What did that say, bro? You can die. Give me um, Sirach 5 and 7. I got you, bro. Okay. He said the wages of sin is death, bro. You hear that, bro? No. So, you he scared? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Shit, I'm scared. You think you think I'm out here just cause? Or you think I'm out here because God commands us to do it, so I'm going to do it? Well, come on with it. Then you can shake it up. Give me 1 Samuel 19 to 24. Give me, watch this. 1 Samuel 19 to 24. The backs? What you just did, them your corners right there. Watch this. Hold on. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 19 and verse 24. And he stripped off his clothes off. Second Samuel. What is second Samuel? I get Ezekiel 5 and 1. Yeah. Ezekiel 5 and 1. Yeah, give me Ezekiel 5 and 1. But I want that one. Looking for that one, Zell. Second Samuel. I think it's second Samuel 19 and 24. Look it up for me. That's the main one I want. Watch this, bro. The thing is, man, we got to be obedient to God, bro. He's going to destroy this land. Watch this. Hold it. The book of Ezekiel chapter 5 and verse 1. And thou, son of man, take thee a sharp knife. Take thee a barber razor and cause it to pass up on thine head. So he said, shape yourself up. You know what I'm saying? He said, take you a barber knife. Put it on your head. Give me second Samuel 19 and 5. I'm going to like that one better. Watch this. Make 19 and 24. Watch this. You see that, bro? So you can make yourself look good. But what do you say don't do? Shave it off. Shave it off. You the gang. You. Now that man got a baby face. Oh, you yeah. Now you try to look 21. No, I ain't trying to look nothing. Bro, you look at 21 now. <laughs> I just want to feel good about myself. Bro, this is a badge. This is a manly badge of dignity. Right. What a Bible dictionary. When y'all got one? Like I okay. Second Samuel okay. chapter 19, verse 24. And Melchizedek, the son of Saul, came down to meet the king. 
and had neither dressed his feet nor trimmed his beard. So he said, that's sure we can trim our beard up. You see that? You can trim it up, make it look good. I'm going to go to the barbershop in a little bit, make sure mine fresh. But get what I ain't going to do. I ain't going to cut it off. I understand that. Give me Leviticus 21 to 5 again. Let me read this again. Go to beard, bro. You got it? I don't, I don't bash people either. I teach them about it. Hold on. Hold on. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Bring it out. You got to understand, bro. It's a new day. That's that Christianity, the pastor mess. That's focus. This is a new day, man. What we, we out here giving you? The Bible, right? Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Hmm? Cry aloud, uh -huh. spare not, uh -huh. lift up thy voice like a trumpet, hmm? and shoot my people their transgression. He said, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, meaning where they going off at. Am I not doing that? He said, cry aloud, speak loud, yeah. spare not. Don't spare their feelings. Yeah, it ain't about that. Ain't that what I'm doing? That's what I'm telling you, bro. So it ain't about I am bashing. I'm telling you what the Bible says. Right. I want you, my brother. Bro, we need a rule. Bro, listen, you're going to do what the Bible says, right? You're going to do what the Bible Give me Acts, the last chapter, the last verse. Watch this. We're going to do what this Bible says, bro. It ain't that we bashing you. We just doing what the Bible commands us. Read it. The book of Acts. The last chapter, the last verse. The book of Acts, chapter 28, verse 31. Mm -hmm. Preaching the kingdom of God uh -huh. and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ Read. with all confidence. With what? With all confidence. What I'm doing, bro? Am I not teaching with confidence? Teaching the right thing. I'm showing you. Now give me Titus um, 2 and 15. I'm doing what the Bible commands us, bro. It ain't that I'm against you. You're my brother. You know what I want to do with you? I want to go to war with you and go tear down these nations. Right. That's what I want to do. But the thing is, we got to come together, man. We got to hold back together. Get in the huddle. We got to call the play. Let's do it like this. You go this way. You go this way. But the whole objective is to get the touchdown or, get, or win the kingdom or get the kingdom. You get what I'm saying? That's all we got to do, bro. You got it? Let me see. That's it. Yeah. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 15. Uh -huh. These things speak uh -huh. and exhort uh -huh. and rebuke with all authority. Do what? Rebuke with all authority. He said, incorrect with all authority. Did he say, come out here? Yes, brother. You don't need to cut your beard, though. That what you get at the church. That's what, that what I'm saying. You see that, man? <laughs> we do what the Bible commands us. We men of the Lord. We men of war. Men of valor. We out here trying to show our people, warn you, wake up. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.